and welcome! If you don't already know me, my name is Caitlin Hathcock and I'm back with another video today to tell you all about Umbilical Core Keepsakes. Umbilical Core Keepsakes are an optional free add-on that I offer my clients in addition to their placenta encapsulation. Now these are something that some people love, it means the world to them, and for others it's just not their thing. And that's okay, that's why it's optional. But I get questions sometimes from potential clients about what the umbilical cord keepsake is so they can decide if they want one or not. So I just want to tell you a little bit about what a cord keepsake is, how I make them, and I'll tell you a few cool facts about umbilical cords as well. So an umbilical cord keepsake is dehydrated with your placenta during the encapsulation process when the placenta is dehydrated. And I will form the umbilical cord into some sort of shape so that it can dry into that shape. Now it depends on how long the cord is, what I can do with it. Sometimes they come really short, sometimes they are very long, where I can spell out an entire word. Um, but usually I just make it into a little heart, depending again how long the cord is. And I will make sure to insert some video footage and some pictures to show you the process a little bit and how I make them, as well as some different options as to how they can turn out. But here is one example of an umbilical cord keepsake. This one is pretty long. I turned it into a heart, as you can see. And just a few quick facts about the umbilical cord. It is actually made out of a material called Wharton's Jelly. It's a very slippery but thick substance that makes up the entire outer portion of the umbilical cord, which protects the vessels that are inside of it. And if you can see, once the umbilical cord is dried, it sort of becomes transparent so you can see through it and you can see the three vessels that are intertwined throughout the umbilical cord. Now in the umbilical cord, there are two arteries and one vein that pump blood to and from your baby during your pregnancy. The umbilical cord, when it is raw, it is pretty straight white unless there's blood in it. You can see the blood through it. But once it's dried, you can see through and see everything inside, which I think is pretty neat. This one had some blood left in it, and I usually try to milk out as much blood as possible before dehydrating so you can see all those cool vessels. But this one, sometimes there's false knots and just accumulation of Wharton's jelly and stuff that gets some of that blood stuck in there, and that's okay. So that's what this one looks like, just for an example. And like I said, I'll insert some more pictures to show you what they look like. But anyway, uh, this is just a cool keepsake for your pregnancy, a very tangible remembrance of the time that your baby spent inside you, the time that you two were physically connected and this is what kept your baby alive and growing uh, while inside of you. So it's a pretty cool thing to have. You can keep it in a shadow box, you can keep it just in a memory box tucked away, um, you can even bury it. Some people plant these with a tree or a bush or something like that. Some people do that with their entire placenta and some people just do it with the umbilical cord depending on if you want to keep it or not. And again, some people, this isn't their thing. They don't want it. <laughs> they don't want an umbilical cord hanging out around their house and that's all right. But for me, I think that they are just really, really special and I am really glad that I get to offer this to so many mamas because um, for those that love these, it really means the world to them. So I hope that this taught you a little bit about umbilical cords and umbilical cord keepsakes. And if you have any other questions about them, please let me know. Bye.